we will discuss morning headache morning headache is very common condition it affects around 80 percent of world population at some point of their life it means it's very common and let's discuss underlying causes let's start with most important and most serious cause of morning headache most important and most serious is brain tumor because in many cases they are aggressive and brain tumors are one of the most aggressive tumors ever but here is good news brain tumor cases is very rare and person if person has morning headache it has less than 0.026% chance that is brain tumor so it's a rare condition but let's say what is red flags uh, persistent headache if it worsened in the morning it's one of the key feature of brain tumors this uh, headache is persistent and progressive it worsens over time headache is aggravated by changing position or bending over or during coughing or during lying on the bed S uh, that's brain tumor signs it's more common in people with age 45 and more uh, there are some types of brain tumor which are more common in, among children but most aggressive forms of brain tumors for example glioblastoma uh, is usually diagnosed after 45 uh, most important and um, useful diagnostic method is MRI or magnetic resonance imaging also CT scan is used now let's say what is most common cause of morning headaches we said mm, most important because we should exclude red flags first that's why we pointed brain tumor but now what is most common most common is two conditions tension type headache and migraine generally tension type headache is most common type of headache but for migraine morning headache is more characteristic according to some studies morning headache occurs 60 percent of cases in case of migraine so if you don't know anything about person and he's coming to you and saying that I have morning headache I wake up with headache there is 35 percent chance that it's migraine maybe maybe slightly more now how can we detect migraine headache is moderate to severe associated symptoms is important such as nausea vomiting sensitivity to light or sound uh, pulsating and throbbing pain is characteristic and hallmark of uh, migraine which is unilateral usually it means one side of a head so pulsating pain throbbing pain one side of head which is exacerbated by physical activity that's migraine migraine lasts around from 4 to 72 hours it can be more but usually it lasts this period of time it exacerbated by physical activity and uh, in 24 or 25 percent of uh, migraine cases there is aura aura is symptoms which occurs before headache occurs uh, and uh, aura usually is visual disturbance or tingling sensation now let's say about tension type headache tension type headache is literally very common it accounts around 80 percent of headaches that's tension type headache but um, morning headache is not characteristic for tension type headache and morning headache occurs around 15 percent of 
tension type headaches. That's why it's uh, it, it, it's not specific for tension type headache, but anyway, it's still huge percentage. So if person comes to you, you know nothing about him or her, and he or she says that I have morning headaches, around 30% of probability it's tension type headache. There is um, current theories about uh, what causes tension type headache. Uh, there was theory about muscle tension, uh, head muscles and neck muscles and shoulder tension. But today it is more accepted that is it's hyper hypersensitivity of pain. Tension type headache is more common uh, among men uh, compared to migraine, um, which is more common in women. And headache type is also different. In tension type headache, there's pressure sensitive pressure and tightness around the head. Uh, if in migraine we have pulsating, one-sided pain, we have both-sided or bilateral pressure or tightness around the head. It's bilateral and it lasts from 30 minutes and it can last up to a week or several weeks. Or sometimes it can be prolonged for several months, but such cases are rare. So. Tension type headache can last much more than other type of headaches, uh, especially compared to migraine. And also important different, different, uh, differentiating factor is physical activity usually don't affect tension type headache. So if in case of migraine, physical activity exacerbates symptoms in case of uh, tension type headache, physical activity don't affect. And another important factor which can cause morning headache is sleep apnea. Sleep apnea can be responsible in 20% of cases of morning headache. So if person is obese, uh, if he or she has sleeping problems, if he or she stops breathing during sleep, so it sleeps apnea. And mechanism why headache occurs during um, sleep apnea is headache due to hypoxia. During stopping breathing, uh, our brain, lack of oxygen, it causes hypoxia and when person wakes up, he has headache. That's all. Uh, also, in case of sleep apnea, person is obese or overweight, he or she has excessive daytime sleepiness, snoring, observed episode of stopped breathing, uh, that's sleep apnea. That's all I wanted to say, so w what, we should, what we should know about morning headache, with highest probability. It's migraine or tension type headache. In worst case, it's brain tumor. In brain tumor, it's progressive, worsened by worsened in the morning, and persistent and progressive. It's important. Uh, and uh, aggressive tumors are over 40 years old. Migraine, pulsating type headache. Tension type headache is a sensation of tightness around the head and sleep apnea if patient is obese or overweight and if he or she has epi episodes of stopping breathing during sleep that can be sleep apnea. Sleep apnea headache looks like tension headache. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my video, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.